بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک فرنس ویلکم بیک ٹو اندر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کامی میکرو ویلچس ٹوڈین دیس ویڈیو لیکچر 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 ویڈیو In the previous video's lecture, we talked about the culture media and the overview of the culture media. We talked the introduction, we talked principle, we talked the types of the culture media, we talked classification of the culture media, each and everything. If you missed this video lecture, so go back to my channel and watch this video. This is actually the second video lecture which is related to the culture media and in this video lecture we are going to talk about nutrient media. So let's start the video. Now, what is actually nutrient media? First of all, let's talk that what is actually nutrient media. Remember, guys, nutrient media is actually those type of the media or the culture. It is actually the type of the culture media which we use for generalized purpose. It means that it can contain the nutrients which through which every type of the bacteria can grow. Like bacteria or fungi means due to this nutrient bacteria and fungi every type of the microbes can grow. Okay. Like we can say non fastidious organism. Non fastidious organism means those organisms which do not require any special type of the nutrient for their growth. Okay. So similarly the nutrient media contain some special type of the uh, means nutrient and some other type of the nutrient as well due to which every type of the microorganisms can grow even fungi as well then we have types of the nutrient media so we have almost three types of the nutrient media nutrient agar nutrient broth and nutrient semi-solid as the name suggests uh, nutrient agar we already talked that when agar comes to any type of the uh, uh, culture media so it means uh, that this media will be a, as a semi means uh, gel like actually the agar acting as a solidifying agent neutron broth means in this case agar is not present so the media will be in a liquid state in case of the neutron semi solid so in this case agar is used but how percent of the agar is used then we have uses of the neutron media remember guys we can use the neutron media for the purification purpose and for the isolation purpose let's suppose you have water waste water as you can see waste water water feces urine and other material and let's suppose you want to isolate any type of the bacteria you will use uh, the you must use the nutrient uh, media through this nutrient media if there is fungi if there is any type of the bacteria through this media the every type of the bacteria and fungi can grow on this media okay so we can say we can use it for the isolation purpose of uh, isolation purpose of the bacteria and we can also use for the purification of uh, purification purposes it means that let's suppose you have a uh, bacteria colony on any type of the media and if let's suppose you want to it a fresh so you will use nutrient agar not other media can be used other media can also used but uh, nutrient agar is very important to get fresh and power colony you will use neutron agar media by taking the colony from any other media so you will streak it onto the neutron agar now second is we can use neutron agar or neutron media for antibiotic profiling what does it mean it means that due to this neutron media we can easily make the bacterial loan i hope all of you better know the bacterial loan bacterial loan means when you add 100 microliter bacterial suspension onto the neutron agar and when you spread it through a glass rod or through uh, culture swab so after that antibiotic was placed over it and after 24 hour uh, you will check the means sensitivity and resistance profiling so it is possible by neutron agar and it is po also possible by another media which we call it molar hilton inshallah we will talk it later this is how we can use a neutron agar for antibiotic profiling now we can also use the neutron agar for the isolation of the microorganisms which are available in water available in wastewater other material feces and urine okay now then what are the composition of the neutron uh, media remember guys uh, neutron media contain trepton with trepton meat extract and yeast extract all these component are specially used uh, 
as a nutrient because this component is actually acting as a vitamins carbohydrates organic material and salt concentration and due to these materials the bacteria can get the nutrients and release the energy due to this way bacteria can grow and divide okay now for one liter the trepton will be required 10 gram meat extract will be required one gram and yeast extract will be required five gram then we have NACL which is required five gram for one liter okay and it is specially used for the salt concentration that are actually to maintain the salt concentration uh, which is similar to the cytoplasm then we have agar which is acting as a solidifying agent and in one liter the 15 gram of the agar is required next is distilled water it is specially used to mix all the ingredient and due to distal water it is actually the pure water or the sterilized water due to which not only the media is mixed uh, but uh, it is free of uh, means uh, any it, uh, it is free of bacteria so we can use the distal water one liter okay so these are the most important composition of the nutrient media remember guys if you want to use the nutrient media uh, let's suppose if you want to use nutrient agar so you will use agar okay if you do not uh, means use the uh, uh, agar nutrient agar if you use nutrient broth so agar will be not mentioned and if you are using semi solid nutrient agar so here the agar will be 7.5 gram then we have the preparation and requirements of the nutrient agar media so remember guys for the requirements of the nutrient media you have to use spirit lamp test tube nutrient agar bottle so petri plate autoclave machine and a hot plate okay now how to prepare nutrient agar or nutrient media first of all you have to select the bottle remember guys nutrient media is commercially available and it is actually available in a, in a form of powder form which is available in the bottle and in the bottle you will see the instruction that how can we prepare the nutrient media remember guys if it if this is nutrient agar so for nutrient agar 28 gram is required for one liter so you will weigh 28 gram for one liter and if you are required for 500 uh, ml so for 500 ml so half this 28 gram means 14 gram you will require so after a mixing all the ingredient let's suppose if you, if the ingredient is present so you will mix all the ingredient in one liter if ingredient is not available if bottle is available so no no need to mix ingredient okay so once you mix uh, you weight the nutrient uh, agar onto the weight balance then you will mix it into the distal water after that you will have to heat mix it using hot plate after that autoclave it at 1.1 centigrade for 15 minutes after autoclaving then pour it at a temperature of 50 to 60 centigrade if it is nutrient agar so pour it using the uh, sterilized petri plate if it is nutrient broth so then pour it into the test tube sterilized test tube okay remember guys as we already talked that uh, for nutrient media the preparation is a little bit different uh, and the preparation is actually totally depend upon on to the agar if broth you are preparing the broth so no agar is required if you are preparing semi solid so agar is half percent agar is used and if you are using the nutrient agar so agar is used to 100 percent agar um, is used to so this is all about the nutrient agar preparation and requirement then uh, results of the nutrient agar means how the bacteria will be look like on nutrient agar as we already talked that there is a lot of bacteria a lot of fungi can be grow on the nutrient agar but here i mention only bacteria and here i mention the scap pathogen the reason behind is that because we already know that scap pathogen is actually uh, causing every type of the infection and not only it causes every type of the infection in human it can cause every type of the infection in animal as well so scap pathogen is too much important to explain in every field so just like in culture media we can also have to use the scap pathogen 
so these are the scap pathogen as you can see but uh, except that we can also use the salmonella and sertia okay so if you want to see E. coli that how the E. coli will be look like on neutron agar it will be look like circular grayish white colony of the E. coli will be on neutron agar pseudomonas have grayish greenish blue colonies Steph aureus have circular yellow colonies salmonella have grayish white colonies klebsiella have white large mucoid colonies abomonai have circular half white colonies and sertia have red smooth round colonies so let me show the diagrams these are the diagrams as you can see these are the microorganisms these are the bacterial colonies which are growing on the neutron agar now this is the steph aureus as you can see golden yellow colonies this is abomonai means half white or uh, half white colonies as you can see Klebsiella will be look like in this form. Pseudomonas. This is actually the pseudomonas, but this is actually the pathogenic pseudomonas originosa. Sertia red colonies, E. coli grayish colony, and Salmonella will be look like in this form. So these are actually the most important bacteria that can grow on the neutron agar. Thanks for watching.